Well, welcome to Mitch's Mitch and Yonga Grammar Time. This is an introductory video that I want to share uh, because this is a new section that I wanted to add. And this section is very, I'm very excited about this section. This is the grammar time section. And you maybe are not excited about this section because grammar is something that most students hate. They don't like grammar. I understand it. I understand why. It's very boring. It's not fun. It's very confusing oftentimes. Well, I want to try to make it so that it's not confusing. Okay. And I, I know that you've studied grammar for a long time. Okay. And many of my students, they, they always say, oh, I, you know, I studied grammar in elementary, middle school, high school, hagwan, you know, I don't want to study anymore. I say, okay, I know, I know, I know. But what I want to do with this section, the grammar time section, I'm going to teach you uh, the, the main things that I've noticed that Koreans make mistakes on when it comes to grammar. So grammar mistakes that are the most common mistakes in Korea with my students. I know because I've been here for a long time teaching Koreans for a long time and I know what mistakes gr Koreans often make with with grammar, okay, with English grammar. So I want to try to help you to fix those problems and and those common mistakes and the goal of this section the grammar section is to just introduce these things maybe you didn't even know that it was wrong i want to teach you why it's wrong and then i want to give you some help in how to overcome those grammar mistakes so that you can fix it so that when you're speaking you'll be able to speak like a native English speaker, okay? Because these are mistakes that uh, Koreans make, and when you make these mistakes, it sounds very Korean, okay? It sounds like you're not a native English speaker. And so the goal is to help you speak like a native English speaker. And to do that, we need to fix some grammar mistakes, all right? So that's what this section is for. Now, in the beginning, it's going to be a little tricky. As I, I always tell my students in my classes, I say, look, grammar it's hard in the beginning you have to learn how to do it and you have to learn the, the the basics the fundamentals of it and then the more you practice it the easier it will become and it will just come out naturally if you want extra help i'll tell you some tips all right for grammar okay because students always ask me how can i improve my grammar do that watch the videos take notes review all of that's important the next thing you can do is lots of reading English reading, reading books in English. It could be on any topic you want. Maybe you're interested in fiction, get fiction books, you know. You can start with children's fiction. It doesn't matter, right? If, if the adult version is too hard, get the children, middle school version, whatever. You can increase your reading ability later. It doesn't matter. If you like nonfiction, read nonfiction. If you like comic books, read comic books. It's fine. It's all fine. Just do it all. Webtoon, if you can find in English, do it. Just any reading. Reading magazines is fine. Reading websites, it's fine. Anything you want to do. But reading will help your grammar as well as vocabulary. Now don't, when you read, what I mean is don't go and like analyze the grammar. Okay? Forget that. That's boring. You'll, you'll give up in 10 minutes. All right? It's so boring. Don't do that. Just read. Okay? Find something interesting. Read it. I had a student once who loved Harry Potter. He loved Harry when he was in sixth grade elementary school, middle school in America. He loved Harry Potter. He couldn't speak English at all. He read all of the Harry Potter books and he was speaking English almost perfectly in six months. Okay, now he was a special case, but what I'm saying is if you read, if you read a lot, it's going to really improve your English and your, especially grammar, okay? Not studying, you don't have to study anything. You just have to read it. You're reading a native English speaker's words, and it's just getting its way into your brain, soaking it up like a sponge, okay? If you read a lot, and very often, you could just do a little bit every day. Over time, you're going to see your grammar will improve, okay? Without even really studying any grammar, okay? Just by watching these videos, studying a little bit, and then reading will really help. And then another tip, this will help you, is writing writing. Now, I know you say, I don't want to write in English. I'm not in school anymore. Well, that's fine. You don't have to, actually. But I'm just saying, if you want to really improve when you're reading, do some writing. Write a journal. Write a journal. This is what my, my Korean teacher used to do to me. When I studied Korean, I had a teacher, and she always made me write a journal. 
So she just said, you know, watch a movie, write about the movie or read a book, write about the book or, you know, just what happened in your day today? Where did you did you go somewhere on the weekend? Write a little story about that. OK, it could be fiction, could be real journaling, whatever. Just write. And as you do that, what you're going to notice, and I do this with my students a lot, too. I make them write. And what what we begin to notice is that you probably make the same grammar mistakes very often. And once you start writing and you're going to start seeing those grammar mistakes uh, and you're going to realize that there's not many, you're just repeating two or three main grammar mistakes over and over again. Because most of my students, that's, that's the problem. They're just making the same mistakes. Okay. And once you see that, then you can start to notice it and start to fix it. And even in speaking, you'll start to adjust it and you'll over time you'll your grammar will improve when you do that it really helps you to start paying attention to the grammar because the biggest problem that students have is that they don't pay attention to their grammar mistakes my students you know I teach them grammar I give them speaking tests they make the same grammar mistakes why because they're not paying attention they just speak they, it's too much work to think about it they just want to say in their typical Konglish style speaking without trying to fix any grammars. Don't be that person. You can fix it. You can do it. It takes a little bit of work and a little bit of motivation, but mostly it just takes paying attention to your grammar. All right. So that's what this section's for, the grammar time. You'll see your, your grammar will improve and it will greatly, greatly uh, help your English. It makes speaking so much more effortless. You don't have to work as hard when you can stop thinking about the grammar. Okay. A lot of my students, they spend a lot of time thinking about grammar as they're speaking and it really slows down their speech. Forget all that. Just study now with this program. Then when you're speaking, just let it go like Elsa. Let it go. Get those words out there. It'll come out naturally freely because you don't have to think about the grammar so hard anymore all right I promise you if you work hard at it it's gonna it's gonna come out more and more freely it'll be exciting it'll be great good chance for you all right so check it out try it this is the grammar time section I'm gonna keep adding videos as we go so enjoy